guess who's back with another video for y'all yes it's your girl toya and i am back i hope you guys had a great week i hope that you are doing well i'm doing well life is good i cannot complain I'm busy but busy in a productive way so that's what's good right so anyway y'all today we're going to talk about you leaving a gnaw so how many times in our lives have we just sat around and just contemplated things and complained and griped about our situation, whether it was a relationship, whether it was a job, a friendship, you know, whatever the situation, you know, where we're just discontent, we're unhappy, you know, it's not going the way that we want it to go, but we stay, we deal with it, we tolerate it. Like why, you know? A lot of times it's fear. A lot of times it's fear of the unknown. We'd rather stay where we're comfortable than to leave our comfort zone and explore other options and just to see what else is out there. But you don't know, you gotta step out and find out, right? So a lot of times, especially with jobs, like I understand, trust me, I have been there personally. Y'all know that, you know, your job is like your security, like it's typically your bread and butter, um, especially if you're not big on savings, you know, you may even be living paycheck to paycheck. So it's kind of hard to leave something that basically is your livelihood for the unknown and to pursue something else that you may be passionate about. But how long are you going to stay somewhere where you're miserable and unhappy? You got to wake up and give at least 40 hours a week to somewhere that you may not even want to go. And, you know, you don't like the people. They don't like you. You underpaid, undervalued, like, but you complain about it and you do nothing. Just like, I need to do something. I need to leave this job. You know, I need to find something else. But you stay. I mean, come on, y'all. Like, we almost in 2023. You're going to take that into another year? There are other opportunities out there. Like, I get it. Everybody's not an entrepreneur. Everybody is not cut out to be their own boss. I get that. A lot of people like the security of a paycheck coming in every week, every two weeks or whatever. So I get it. However, that still doesn't give you good reason to stay where you are if you're unhappy and miserable. Like, check and see what else is out there. See if there's something that you're passionate about. If there's something, you know, that you are aspiring to do, maybe you can find a job in that industry and not what you're currently doing. Because for real, if you find something in the industry that you love and something that you're passionate about, it's not even going to feel like a job, even if you are punching the clock, even if you are reporting to someone, but it's still something that you love to do. So you can get out the bed excited every morning and look forward to what you're doing and the way you're going and new opportunities and adventures so don't let fear hold you back guys if it's a relationship and i'm not necessarily talking marriage because i feel differently about marriage you know i don't advise anybody like you ain't happy leave so i'm not necessarily talking about marriages you know that's something we'll have to get into at another time but as far as just relationships you know guys that you just kicking it with y'all just been talking y'all have these situationships you know it's just like However, you know that you're not getting what you need out of that relationship. You know it's dysfunctional. You know that it's probably not going to get better or go further than where it is now. But you stay, you know, because of potential. Like you can see the potential in the relationship, in the guy. But how many more years of your life are you going to give to someone based on their potential that could potentially never be fulfilled? Like, is that a chance that you're willing to take? I mean, hmm. I don't know. I don't know about you, but you know, I've stayed in relationships way too long that I wasn't happy in, in the hopes that things will turn around and get better. And I'm not saying that they don't. You know, a lot of times when you hear that people have been through like ups and downs and they've been together 20 years, like, trust me, they've been through some hard 20 years of that relationship. But you know, eventually things did turn around and did improve, but they had to really tough it out and go through that. Are you built for that? Is that what you want to do? Do you want to give that much time out of your life to someone that may or may not turn around, that may or may not be what you need them to be? You know, there's so many people out here, single people out here. I know we condition ourselves to think that, no, ain't no good men, ain't this, ain't that all the good men, you know, they gay, they locked up, whatever. It's just like, that's not always the case. There are men out there, but you have to be open to the, you have to be open to dating new. You have to be open to dating people outside of your comfort zone. You know, a lot of times we have these checklists, like they got to do this, they got to have this, they got to look like this and all that stuff ball that up throw that out the window all that is shallow and materialistic like 
No, like find a guy with good character, with good morals and values that line up with yours. You know, find somebody that you're compatible with, somebody that you can enjoy life with and have a good time. Like a relationship shouldn't be a lot of yelling and fussing and arguing all the time, a lot of breaking up and making up and all that. You know, a lot of stress and a lot of like trying to figure out what's going on. Y'all, that's too stressful. We're getting too old for that. Like it's time to enjoy your life live your life like stop talking about it stop complaining about it like you leaving or not nah. like like what's happening what you gonna do about it and even the same with like friendships or you know just different situations that you're in and you know it's just like not good for you it's not good for your spirit like you know you got somebody around you that's like constantly bringing you down they're negative they're not supportive of you you know they only want to be around for when it benefits them or they want to be around for a good time not a long time like you know it's time to cut those people out your circle like you know loyalty can only go so far and it has to go both ways you know so if you're sitting there contemplating like should i still you know be friends with this person should i still you know hang out in this certain circle or whatever like maybe you're outgrowing it maybe you need to hang with people that are going to where you're going or people that have already achieved what you're trying to achieve it's time to expand your circle it's time to cut the lames out you know what i mean like like we have such a big life ahead of us and none of us know how much life we have left but we the the life we do have left is full of endless possibilities so don't subject yourself to situations that are not making you happy y'all life is too short like it's time that we enjoy our lives like we can be excited about our lives we can wake up every day just looking forward to the next opportunity and the next adventure that life has to offer us life is too short to be miserable life is too short to stay in dead in situations that are not going anywhere y'all so i need y'all to take inventory of your lives and where you are and really start making some life-changing decisions but changes that are going to be for the better they're going to improve your health that's going to improve your happiness that's going to increase your joy because why for once you're looking out for yourself you know and you're thinking about you and the long-term effect that these things are having on you if they're not helping you they're hurting you so you have to let that stuff go and it's time to move on to brighter horizons all right guys that's my spew look reevaluate your lives reevaluate the things that are holding you back and that they're no longer are serving their purpose and they're not helping you to get to your next level it's time to cut it loose it's time to stop complaining it's time to stop talking about it it's time to do it it's time for you to be happy it's time for you to focus on you and it's time for you to really start enjoying your life and living your best life for real all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'll be back next week with another video if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like my channel share my channels and um, leave me some comments, guys. All right. I'll see y'all next time. Deuces.